Pluto was discovered in 1930 from astronomers' observations that something was interfering with Neptune and Uranus's gravity. It got its name from 11-year-old Venetia Burney from Oxford, taken from the Roman god of the underworld. Pluto was considered the ninth planet, but as more and more discoveries of bodies in the solar system were made, the definition of planet came into question. And it had been in question for quite some time. It started years before with Ceres, which went from being a comet to a planet then an asteroid, and the first object in the asteroid belt. Ultimately, Ceres would join Pluto as a dwarf planet, and that decision lay with members of the International Astronomical Union, which was made up of professional astronomers around the world. In 2006, the IAU determined the characteristics of a planet. It must do three things. It must orbit a star. It must have a big enough force of gravity to force into a spherical shape. Finally, it must be big enough that its gravity has cleared away any other objects of a similar size in its orbit. The last one is what Pluto struggles with, as it hasn't cleared its orbit. But there is the argument Earth, Mars, Jupiter and Neptune, having asteroids as neighbours, haven't cleared theirs either. There's also argument that Pluto should never have been deemed a planet in the first place. It was thought to be larger than it is, it's actually smaller than our moon. It has an eccentric orbit that puts it in front of Neptune for 20 years of its orbit. It also takes it above and below the main plane of our solar system. Just because Pluto is classified as a dwarf planet doesn't mean it's any less exciting. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft provided the first close-up images of Pluto and its moons. It has blue skies, mountains and red snow. There are many arguments for and against. What we do know is science is all about learning and discovering new things. It's finding the answers and questioning those answers. Our understanding of the universe is always like the universe itself, expanding. The Romans used to classify the moon and the sun as planets, and they all revolved around the Earth. But what I do know is my very easy method to speed up naming planets doesn't fit anymore. So if someone can give me an alternate one, that would be great. And I still need to use Lions Eat Ice Cream Every Saturday Teachers Eat Rubbish so I can spell Leicester, which is where the National Space Centre is, so come and visit us. And yes, I do know teachers don't eat rubbish. The lines may eat ice cream.